Today I'm gonna to talk about one of the most powerful tools to build wealth. Please turn this off right now if you're not motivated to build wealth or if you're simply lazy. I have no tolerance for lazy people. This channel is for doers. If you're a doer, then great, let's get started. Here we are at our very first rental property. Hey everyone, I'm Clayton Morris, longtime real estate investor. I've built multiple seven-figure businesses. And on this channel, we teach people how to get rich without quitting their day job. Unless, of course, they want to. I retired at 40 years old from my day job thanks to passive cash flow from rental real estate. I built this channel to help you do the very same thing. All right, so let's talk about self-directed IRAs today. They have been getting a lot more attention in recent years, finally. And the growing interest is easy to understand. The traditional offerings associated with an IRA like stocks and bonds are reasonable enough. But retirement savers want flexibility beyond the average CDs, ETFs, and mutual funds. So self-directed IRAs are providing a powerful, flexible tool that will absolutely change your wealth building approach. So let's, let's expand on that point. A SDIRA allows for more diversified investments, letting you place your money in everything from precious metals to real estate, investing in a business, notes on a tax lien certificate, doesn't matter. You'll enjoy far more freedom as an investor to pursue your goals and secure your financial stability as you near the end of your career. So how do you get started? And what can you expect? Well, we're gonna walk you through everything you need to know. We're gonna to try to simplify this subject so you can manage both your property investments and retirement account, reaching a balance that will sustain your income and keep you comfortable for years to come. So to start with, we'll define a self-directed IRA in greater detail, and then we're gonna describe their function in real estate the way that I love to do it. So self-directed IRAs and real estate, let's start there. An SD IRA is essentially a traditional or a Roth IRA in which your custodian, the institution that keeps records and reports then to the IRS, allows you to invest in a wide range of options permissible in a retirement account. So at the end of every year, you have to measure the value of your investments and then you communicate those numbers to your custodian. So as a note to help you understand this investment process, these custodians can also provide guidance moving forward. But I want you to be in the driver's seat ultimately with your wealth when you have a self-directed IRA. Okay, so after you've decided on a reputable IRA custodian, you should also establish a limited liability company to hold your assets. So as you invest in real estate, an LLC is gonna serve you as a precautionary measure to prevent potential lawsuits that might occur from injuries on the property, if a tenant slips and falls, liability folks, okay? From there, then you can buy, sell, and flip properties, but it's essential to remember that you'll have to pay back all of that income you generate into your self-directed IRA. So neglecting to acknowledge the rules and regulations might result in some penalties. So review them before you dive in. They're easy to follow and the benefits though far outweigh any potential risks involved in this process. So to give you a better understanding of what I'm talking about here and what you can hope to gain through self-directed IRAs, we'll touch on a few of the advantages, showing you why retirement savers have found them such an attractive option. And our team at Morris Invest helps people set up their, their IRAs in literally about 10 minutes. So what's the value of a self-directed IRA? Well, if you're new to real estate investment, self-directed IRAs provide a sort of safety net as you navigate the industry here. The money that you spend on properties isn't money you live on. It's drawn from your retirement account instead, and though you still depend on those funds, they're gonna provide a foundation on which to build. Now follow me on this. You're gonna enjoy all the tax benefits here. So similar to any other investment in your IRA, your income is tax deferred until you make a withdrawal. Unless, of course, your holdings are in a Roth self-directed IRA. Boom. In which case, you won't have to worry about taxes at all. That said, you'll have to wait to take out the funds to avoid any early withdrawal penalties. But if you've got a tenant in that property, that cash flow becomes tax-free when you retire at 59 and a half. It's powerful. So beyond the realm of real estate, self-directed IRAs provide you a level of portfolio diversification options that, uh, that others don't. We briefly mentioned this earlier in, the, in this uh, video, but this point is important to stress for those people who feel like restricted in their choices because you're gonna have far more opportunities in deciding to pursue a self-directed IRA. Start a business, invest in notes, it doesn't matter. 
But as we conclude here, we're going to make it a small but essential distinction between a traditional broker's self-directed account and one that lets you invest in real estate. Many IRA custodians and banks will only approve conventional investments. So if you're on the phone with Fidelity and you say, hey, can I do a self-directed IRA? Can I invest in real estate? They might say, yeah, sure you can. What they really mean is you could invest in like REITs or real estate investment stocks. But if you really press them and you say, great, I want to buy 123 Main Street. It's a duplex that's going to cash flow $3,000 a month and I want to do it next week. Can I do it? They're going to say, no, you can't. That's the difference. So many IRA custodians and banks will only approve conventional investments like stocks. Now, if you approach a traditional bank and you ask them about it, they're usually going to show you available stock options like I just mentioned instead of what you're truly looking for, which is the freedom to invest in properties. Okay, You're going to have to find an institution which provides self-directed IRAs. And more than that, you should choose an institution with experience in your field of investment. So make sure you do your research when you choose your custodian as you proceed ensuring that they have the expertise that you need to navigate this subject. Like I said, our team at Morris Invest can help you do all of this for you in about 10 minutes. We can help you set up your self-directed accounts with a trusted custodian and get you started with real estate investing today. So click the link to book a call with my team today and we'll jump on the phone with you for 30 minutes to start that process. Opportunity awaits everyone. Look, and I know that real estate investing is one of the most powerful ways to grow your wealth. And with the assistance of a great IRA custodian, you're going to be enjoying financial stability well into your old age. Imagine having five, six, seven rental properties inside of a self-directed account growing tax-free for you. So check out our other series in this videos on using self-directed IRAs for even greater detail. Yes, you can invest in income-producing deeded real estate inside of your retirement. We'll see you next time, everyone.